So you might be in a situation where your iMessage photos or videos are just loading very, very slowly. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, if you're loading up your iMessage application and you're loading up the photos that you have or the videos that you have, like right here, you might see that they are taking a long, long time for them to actually load up. So if that ends up happening, there's a few things that you're going to want to do. For one, you may just have to keep in mind that the photos or videos that they're sending, they may have sent you a lot of different videos or photos at the same time. So you may just have to go ahead and wait until they actually go ahead and basically, you know, the photos are completely sent on their side. Sometimes if they're sending lots of videos or if they're sending lots of high quality, high, you know, basically high storage videos, well then you're just going to have to wait until they fix that problem. There's not much you can do. You're going to have to wait till they upload on your side and they download on your side. On top of that, if your internet connection is very slow, you might just want to make sure that your internet connection isn't the problem. So what you can do is you can make your way over to your settings. If you're able to connect to the 5G version of your internet, I'd recommend doing that. If you have some sort of data connection problems, you may just want to go and make sure that's not the problem. And you may just want to go ahead and make sure that within your specific device, you are connected to at least a fast network. You can even make your way over to your app store or some other application like that and see how long it takes to load up that app. If it's pretty fast, if it's pretty normal, then there's not much to worry about. But if it's a very slow process for it to load, that could mean your internet connection is a problem and you're going to have to basically connect to a better, better internet connection in order for that problem to be fixed. On top of that, if that's still not working, you may just want to go ahead and see if there's an update available for your device. So go inside of your iPhone settings just like this. You're going to click on General. You're going to click on Software Update. And all you're going to want to do is go ahead and update your specific device that you're on. So from here, all you have to do is go and click on Install Now if it's the latest update that you have available. And that's another way that can fix it. You can try going through and restarting your phone if you don't have an update available. But those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.